the six million dollar shaver. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, let's have some fun. Oh, yeah, boy. So, the man with the best razor collection, most of you probably don't even know who this is, but his name is Dennis Stuckey. He's in Richmond, Kentucky. This guy goes out to the to um, antique shops and that, picks up like three Wade Butchers, a Boker and that for like $40. They're in like mint shape. All they need is honing. This guy has one of the best collections out there and we call him the super luckiest man alive because even his customers bring him razors and stuff. So he's a barber and um, it's amazing. His razor collection is just one of the most elite and elaborate out there. Um, all vintage and um, off the map. Next would be brushes. Brushes, I know you guys know this guy. I'm not good with his name, how to pronounce it, but Onur, 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 Onur. He's, uh, he was sick about six, eight months ago. We were all praying for him and that. But I remember him posting a picture of his 100 brushes and none of them were like cheap brushes. They're all freaking M&Fs, Thaters, Customs. Some of the best looking and most spectacular brushes you could see in the, in the world. He, he hands down, best, best of my knowledge, has the most brushes other than a manufacturer. And they're just beautiful and a great guy. And I hope his health is still doing well. And um, the best to you. Experience. I'm going to go with, with um, Rick Boone. Um, his experience, he can like get on a Google Hangout with you. Watch you shave or hone. And give you advice on what's going on. What you need. You know, what you're doing wrong. And teach you through just you know just watching you so I mean you have to really know your stuff to be able to teach someone's tech you know technique from just watching what they're doing so I'm gonna go with Rick for experience technique that's kind of a three-way tie because to me these three guys helped me get started in DE shaving and straight shaving and this would go with this would be Geo Fat Boy Lynn Abrams and Mantic. Um, we all watched these videos time and time again when we first started out with wet shaving. And um, they were the turn two guys back then. Um, those were the vid only videos really around on YouTube back when I started. Um, there weren't a lot of choices, so now you have more choices. Next, I'm going to go with enthusiasm or enthusiastic. That'd be Nolan Kimber out of the UK, man. He is freaking hilarious, spot on, funny guy. Brings brings much humor to his um, videos. Has a blast. Got the music blaring and just balls out, having a good time. That's what shaving's supposed to be when you're making a video and just sharing that. You know, just just have fun. Um, soap collection. I don't know, probably, I don't know. This one's tough. Um, probably Anthony Macri, because I love his um, shave of the day photos, and he's always got like these unique soaps and and, and uh, aftershave combos and such going on. That, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with him. And, um, Another one with him would be, um, let's see, G.I. Jam and James. He, he's got some unique collection, too. So we're going to go with those two. Um, I believe that's it for those six attributes. The six people I'm going to tag will be Paul Sordello, the ambassador. <laughs> Bring it on. Waiting for those videos, Paul. This is your chance to make one. Uh, Rick Boone, let's hear from you. Um, Nolan Kimber out of the UK, Craig Barrington out of the UK, another uh, UK wet shaver, wet, 
he does some, uh, he's a wet tuber. He's not always posting them on the uh, wet shave page there, but he does do them in the UK Wet Shaving Society page. Tom Michael, or the Shave Tank. And let's go the Franz, Daniel Franzic. Yeah, we're looking for some excitement, Franz. Bring it on. So that be my $6 million uh, shaver and my tags. So have a great day. Have a great shave. Have fun. Keep rocking. Keep shaving. Going blind. <laughs>